Hello everybody, my name is Smarty, short for Smarty Weed, and welcome back. Today I'm going to read chapter 11 of Hi-Fi Mallory. It's called Camp Mallory. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. Camp Mallory. When Max and I had our talk, I came up with an idea. I decided to invite a bunch of my friends, including Zoe, to come to my house this weekend. I told them I had a big surprise in store for them, but that was all I had told them. Even Marianne, things have been a bit weird since we had our talk on Pajama Day. It seems like it's something we're not going, we're not just going, we're just not going to talk about. So I know she's excited about my surprise. Ever since I told my friends I have a surprise for them, she's been asking me what's going on, but I told her she'd have to wait to find out, just like everyone else. The big day is finally here. I'm excited, but a little nervous. I hope my friends will like what I planned. I pick up my phone and send a text. When I hear the bell doorbell ring, I race from my room to answer it. Pamela arrives first. Group. To Chloe, Jennifer... Pamela, April, Marianne, Zoe. Reminder, my house at noon. Chloe, Jennifer, and Pamela wear red. April, Marianne, and Zoe wear blue. No questions asked. See you all soon. Pamela arrives first, then April, and Chloe, Jennifer. Marianne and Zoe are the last ones to show up. So, what's the surprise? asks Marianne. I'm glad you asked, I say. I lead my friends outside to my backyard. Welcome to Camp Mallory, I say. I watch as my friends look around at everything Max and I set up. There's a sign in a tent and even an area with athletic equipment and a scoreboard Max made. Wow, says Marianne. It looks like camp. She smiles at me and I smile back. I know that's her way of saying that even though we've had our differences lately, one thing we'll always agree on is that we both love camp. Thanks, I say as I pass out bandanas and water bottles to everyone. We're having a mini color war, I say. I tell my friends, it's red versus blue. When Max comes outside and glints that he's a referee, I look at Marianne. If she's still upset at what happened, if she's still upset about what happened between Max and Winnie, she doesn't show it. Each team will compete compete in a series of events, and I'll keep. Score. May the best team win, says Max. Max gets out two big buckets from the pile of equipment. The first event is an egg spoon race. He gives Chloe, Jennifer, Pamela, and me a bucket filled with hard-boiled eggs that Max may help me dye red. Marianne, Zoe, and April get a bucket of blue eggs. Then he gives each team a spoon. He points across the yard to two empty buckets. The first team to successfully transport all their eggs to the bucket across the yard wins. If you drop an egg, you have to start over. We all list, line up with our team. When Max blows the whistle, we all we start walking one at a time with eggs on a spoon. Go Mallory, yell Pamela and Chloe Jennifer as they start across the yard, yard with an egg on the spoon. When it falls off, I pick it up and run back to the starting line. You can do it, yells Chloe Jennifer. I look at Zoe, who's first on our team. Her egg dropped, too, and she is right back where I am. Come on, Marianne and April yell at her. I put my egg back on the spoon and try to cross the yard again. This time I walk a little more slowly and carefully. Both of our teams are is cheering. I get to the bucket just ahead of Zoe. Way to go, Mallory, Pamela and Chloe Jennifer yell as they run back with the spoon. Both teams yell as we take turns carrying the eggs across the yard. Pamela is the last one up on the Team Red, and Marianne is carrying the last egg for Team Blue. They're side by side as they across the yard, as they cross the yard with their eggs. Everyone on both teams is yelling. Come on, Pamela, Chloe and I shout. Chloe, Jennifer, and I shout. When she gets to the bucket a few steps ahead of Marianne, we go crazy yelling and hugging. Team Red is the winner of the egg spoon race, says Marianne. 
He marks up points on the scoreboard. Even though Team Blue lost, everyone on the everyone on both teams is smiling. The next event is a relay race, which Team Blue wins. Then we compete in tug of war and a water balloon toss, and Team Blue wins those too. As they cheer and hug when they win the balloon toss, water balloon toss, Mary Max gives Team Red towels and a pep talk. You get better. You better get serious if you want to win, he says. I think we've got this one, Pamela says to Chloe Jennifer and me, when Ma- Max announces the rules of the talkathon. The rule you'll be, the topic you'll be talking about is going to the beach, says Max. When I say go, the team that has the most to say wins. Ready, set, go. We all start talking about going to the beach at the same time. April and I are the last ones talking. It's close, but I have more to say on the topic than she does. Red team wins that event, and the next one is the dance-off. We cheer and hug like crazy after both our victories. I, it's tied at three wins for each team, announces Max. It's pretty clear that both teams want to win, but it's also easy to see that everyone is having fun. This day is going even better than I thought it would. The last event, the lip sync, will decide who wins the color war at Camp Mallory, announces Max. Each team huddles together to pick a song. Then Max gives us ten minutes to practice what we're doing. Time's up, he announces. He draws his team name out of his baseball cap. Team Red is first. Go Red! Pamela, Chloe, Jennifer, and I shout as we stand up to perform. Then we turn on the music. I pick the song, and I feel confident as we perform. But when I do, Team Blue starts laughing. Mary, Ann, Zoe, and April are all rolling around on the ground, cracking up. Suddenly, I feel self-conscious, like maybe this was a bad idea after all. I click off the music. What's so funny, I ask. When I ask a question, everyone on Team Blue laughs even harder, especially Mary Ann. Stop laughing! I picked that song, I say. Does, every, does somebody have a problem with it? No, says Mary Ann. We're laughing because we're using the same I, same song and I picked it. We had the same idea, she says with a smile. Even though I was menace, n- embarrassed just one minute ago, now I feel great. It makes me happy to know that Marianne and I still like some of the same things. Then um, there's April, Chloe, Jennifer, Zoe, Pamela, Marianne, and Mallory. And it gives me another idea. Let's declare the color war a tie and we can all lip sync together, I say. Everyone likes that idea a lot, except for the referee. What's the point of having a color war if no one wins? I asks Max, but no one is paying attention to him. We're too busy lip-syncing as a group. When we're done, I announce one more surprise. S'mores, I say. My friends follow me inside to make s'mores in the oven. We make a double-decker one for Max and thank him for being a great referee. Then we take our s'mores outside and eat them in the tent. I know graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate aren't the healthiest thing to eat, but everyone likes s'mores even Zoe. As I eat, I think about the talk Max and I had. He was right. Being a good friend to Marianne and focusing on my other friends, too, was a good idea. I hope Marianne and I get back to being best friends like we always been. But more than that, I hope she'll see that if that if she wants to stay friends, she has to act like a real friend. The good news is that I had a great time hanging out with all my friends. I think Marianne did, too. I eat the last of my s'more. As I eat the last of my s'more, I lick the sticky marshmallow off my finger. It's a sweet way to end a great day. That's the end of that chapter. I'll see you next time when I read Champions. Bye, everyone.